So we've all experienced that feeling when you're really connecting with somebody, right? You meet somebody new, they're really exciting, you find yourself hypnotized by their presence, you find them bewitching, and as you start to converse, as you start to share stories, you find that you come into this synchronized kind of element. You feel like you're connected, you feel like you're meshing, you feel like you're on the same vibe, like you're on the same frequency. And I love that we use these ambiguous terminology to describe what is experientially at least a metaphysical experience. I mean, what does that even mean? Oh man, we were meshing, we were connected, we were so vibing. It's almost like these musical metaphors to describe something that ultimately can't be measured, but our intuition alone is the way in which we come to realize that we're having that experience with somebody else. But again, it's not like we have like a radar machine that can scan when we're synchronized with somebody else. Oh, I'm meshing with her. Her radar meter of meshing was really working. You know, we have technological Logical instruments to measure radar and measure, F, you know, other electromagnetic spectrum frequencies, you know, but we don't have instruments to do that when it comes to the space of human interaction. And yet we have these experiences; they feel real, right? They're 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 intuitive, they're 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 subjective. And so, what does that mean? So. Recently, there was a researcher at TED who was doing some research on what he calls brain coupling. And what he did is he actually did fMRI scans on the brains of like romantic couples or best friends or people that just feel like they kind of speak each other's language. And so here's what's really interesting. When he did fMRI scans on the brain, so like an empirical scientific measurement of what was happening in each of their brains, he found that their brain waves were actually synchronizing. So take that in for a second. A metaphysical experience, a supposedly non-measurable metaphysical magical dimension of the human experience in which you are meshing and connecting and vibing and on the same frequency with somebody else. That poetic, rapturous, subjective experience all of a sudden can be quantified in an empirical scientific manner. So we are grounding the poetry, the mystery of human communication, of human intimacy, and finally able to like understand it in a physical sense, in a physical way. And so when science finally sort of grounds our metaphysical musings in an empirical reality, what it does for me is it doesn't get rid of the mystery, but it, it sort of reassures me that what I was experiencing was real. It sort of makes it even more real for me. So now I know that when I meet that special someone, when she comes into my life and she smiles in just the right way and I get the goosebumps from staring at the iris of a lover's eye. I know that our brain waves are literally in sync. And so this is what we should look for when we connect with anybody. We should be like, hey, do you want a brain couple with me? You want to sit and talk and get naked in body and mind and couple our brain waves together? Because that's what I'm interested in. Skip the small talk. Skip the small talk and go straight to that like inner subjective rapture. Let's become one thing. I mean, this is the goal. This is intimacy. This is what we so desperately want to articulate but often fail to do. Anyway, that's brain coupling.